So, Brandon, you return to the Bob Luca Stadium tomorrow. You must be excited for it. No, I'm buzzing to be back, to be fair. Um, I miss playing there. Obviously, I know it's only a year, but it makes you sort of realise what a big club it is, how well supported it is. And yeah, obviously, first game back tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it and looking forward to the season to start as well. Uh, you've had some uh, had some great memories at the Bob Lucas. Do any stick out to you in particular? Yeah, I think obviously the one that sticks out for me was the the, the home game against Farmer where we won the league. I think there was like two and a half thousand fans there, and they had a great atmosphere all the way through the game, and we celebrated like all the way through the night. It was really really good day, and yeah, definitely up there in terms of my memories for Weymouth and also my career as well so far. Uh, yeah, and obviously a few of those players that were part of that squad, Calvin Brooks, Ben Thompson, and of course yourself, all joined over the summer. Uh, how much are you looking forward to playing with people you've had so much success with in the past? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've built up really good relationships, not just on the pitch, but off it as well. And um, it really helps the team when you've got that sort of bond with your players because you know how each other work, you know what each other does well. Um, and they're really good lads as well. So I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time with them and hopefully creating some more success for the football club, which obviously is the main objective for all of us. Yeah, it's also quite a fresh face squad this season with a lot of new names uh, coming in and some returning faces. Do you think the squad is starting to gel both on and off the pitch? Yeah, we've had a few games now, quite a few training sessions. So uh, we've got a few sort of social dates booked in as well. Like I said, the golf day coming up. I know some of the boys like Cal, Gerard in particular will struggle, but Obviously, it's just about getting a team together and 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 gelling off. It's massive, I think. Uh, all good change rooms that I've been in and success on the pitch has has come with a good sort of team bonding off the pitch, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's really important to sort of gel the boys together and take that sort of chemistry and feeling into a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, uh, the lads will face a tough test against the youthful Bournemouth side. How have preparations gone heading into this one? Yeah, really good. I mean, obviously we had the game on Tuesday, um, which obviously is more minutes into the lads. And I know that people say that results in pre-season don't matter, but we go out to win every single game we play in. Um, and then we had a really good training session yesterday with the Gaffer Made Test work hard, even obviously with the game Tuesday. So, yeah, I think fitness-wise, the lads are looking fitter and sharper every time we meet up. And, um, yeah, it's, another, it's going to be a tough test tomorrow with a, a young ball side. Obviously, they're going to be set up to play and it's going to be a different kind of test than ones we've faced so far with, like, obviously, the non-league clubs. But obviously, it's one that we we can't wait to get stuck into and, and test ourselves that way as well. Yeah, and alongside Bournemouth, we've got matches against the likes of Reading and Southampton B coming up. Uh, how beneficial is it for the team to test themselves against those type of squads? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's going to be a lot of different styles of play in the league and... Whereas it could be route one for some teams, other teams are going to play and try and play out from the back. And that's what these academy teams and, and, and sort of football league sides are going to be doing. So it'd be good to test ourselves in that respect. Uh, but we also have to remember that we've got to impose our game on them and, and see how we can affect them. So, yeah, it's going to be a good test all around. And most importantly, it will, it will prepare us for, for the season coming. Um. We know you can play up top, out wide and in the 10, but where do you see yourself playing most this season? Uh, well, conversations that I had with the gaffer in the summer, it was predominantly sort of in the 10, but like I said before, I'm more than happy to play in whatever role he, he chooses fit, you know, so I've had a few conversations with him and what he wants from me this season and starting to work on it a lot more in training and, and, and in games, like positional sense from what, what, what he uh, wants to see from me and it's uh, clicking already, so um, I'm sort of just taking each game and training session as it comes. So, but uh, all his ideas seem really good, and yeah, I'm buzzing to get going. And uh, keeping on the topic of uh, Bobby Wilkinson, um, he did an interview with the Echo and saying he laughed off predictions that the club may get relegated this season. Is your ambition for the club to kind of just avoid relegation, or is there potential to push on further than that? Yeah, I mean, I think the first session we had, he sort of he told us, look, boys we're favourites to go down or I can't remember what the, the article was, but he sort of just let us know that that's what's being said about us and how we want to react to that is tells you a lot about the group. But I think we've had conversations as a squad about what we want to achieve this year. 
Uh, but I don't think it's right to sort of say that openly. I think we all know what we want to achieve this year and we're going to be working every time we're together to make sure that happens. But it, it, we were told pretty much the first conversation that that was uh, what was being said about us. And hopefully that puts fire in our bellies to, to prove people wrong, which I think is the main thing this season. Yeah, and uh, finally, how important do you think the fans will be over the course of the season for you? Yeah, massive. I mean, my first two stints at the club, especially in the first season when we were obviously trying to win the league, it was home and away. They come in in numbers and it really makes a difference. I know it's such a cliche when players say, like, oh, the fans are the 12th man, but it really is the case. Like, when you're struggling and let, later on in games and you, you hear fans singing for you and like making the atmosphere like electric, it, it, it goes such a long way. And uh, a club like Weymouth so well supported, like I said, both home and away. So hopefully it'd be the same this year and um, we could bring a bit more joy and success to the club than, they, uh, than they've had in the last couple of years, you know.